Doug Ophine is sitting next to me, he's chief financial officer for RSM. And you know, it's funny when when you settled in, the first thing you said was this this is the twelfth year of this event. You said, Maddie, we go back fifteen years of, of doing this. It's it's kind of crazy when you think about it. We used to have a McGladry team championship at Pinehurst and Matt was uh doing the same thing for us back fifteen years ago. It's crazy. And we were overlooking Pinehurst number eighteen talking this. It's uh, amazing. They, uh, so it's a, been, a, been a great run. So from that, from going from the team championship to now the RSM Classic, which I don't think, I think a couple of years ago, I still said McLadry once and had to pay into the jar. But other than that, I think we've all we've all kind of passed that. We're oh, all like, well, I've been with them 41 years, so I still say McLadry. You do now yes, and then? Oh, you yes. got to put, put a little bit in the jar yeah, then. So I put a little bit in the jar. But when you think about that, tra- we're only talking about from event to event now, not, not 41 years of evolution of the firm, but – even from event to to event, now that we're 12 years into this one, could you possibly have envisioned it getting to this point? No, not without a doubt. Uh, there's two things that really have, have surprised me from the 12 decision 12 years ago. One was the client experience. Uh, when our clients come down here, they absolutely love it. Great venue, great course, great uh, uh, hospitality by the Sea Island team. Uh, is the first thing, the second thing that sticks to mind is the stewardship. You know, we're going to present our check or announce our check today for what we raised as part of the Birdies for Love program. That number was zero 12 years ago. And in fact, uh, we showed a check yesterday when we presented the check. It was 430000 just eight years ago. Wow. So when we announced the number that it will be in the $4 million number range uh, today, it's just absolutely amazing. It is amazing. And, and just to, to put the meat behind that, that money is coming from all of your offices coast to coast, and that money benefits their individual communities, correct? Yes, exactly. And, and like I said yesterday, you know, over 96% of our partners participated, over 80% of our employees participated. Wow. And when you're talking 15,000 people, those are big numbers. And so, yeah, it's, it's an idea that the local community select their charity. The RSM Foundation has a match on top of it, and together – through the local programs, the national programs, uh, we make a difference in a lot of people's lives. That that difference, you know, it's you you would hope that it would be a part of of everybody's mantra, but it isn't. The fact that I I call it the revelation of a corporate soul, where a company would go out of their way to do things truly from the goodness of their heart that impacts and changes the lives of people a- around them. Now I'll now I'll tap into those forty one years. Has that always been the case? I think individually, but but as the firm grew, putting the power and the size of the firm behind it is the thing that's different. You know, when I started, we were a small Midwest firm, and I think we were always charitable at heart, but I think just in the last six to eight years with this classic and what the RSM US Foundation has done, put the power of the RSM 15,000 people together, it made a big difference yourself. It's unbelievable. And, yeah. And you talk about parts of giving back. You know, I'm chair of the foundation. In every foundation board meeting, we start the meeting with somebody now that we can on Zoom, somebody coming in telling us how what we did made a difference. Oh, I just got to chill. So, That's so very cool. every foundation board meeting, you know, we will have the charity come and tell us their story. Because I said, we love the publicity. We love the big numbers. We love the big checks. But at the end of the day, what we're really about is making a difference in people's lives. I, uh, I, I'll admit to you, Doug, that I teared up last night oh, when you, you want to tell the world about the, the, we, the little uh, boy you had we on. We have an RSM uh, in the fall series. The most birdies in an event gets $50,000. And it's cumulative, and we'll announce the, uh, the winner of the whole fall series, most birdies. And they get 300000 for a charity that's aligned with our RSM mission. And I had not heard this story until just a few days ago, but uh, Chasen Hadley, is that right? Chesson, yeah. Chesson, Chesson Hadley yeah. uh, won a year ago and had $50,000, put it to a, uh, a local uh, hospital. I don't remember what city it was. But the story is a young child, um, his mom had a medical incident. He's in the back seat. I don't know, what is he, 10, 12? He was, yes, and he his, his sibling was in the car as well. And, uh, and he got the car stopped. He unbuckled himself, got the car stop, and and saved the life of his, his mom, him, and, and his younger child. But he, it, he saved their life. But in fairness, just to fill in the blanks here, the car still crashed. 
uh, and he he had a control enough of the vehicle that he saved everybody's life. But in the crash, his his ankle around the ankle was broken so badly that he ended up losing the leg. That's that's what happened to this little boy. And then for the fifty thousand dollars to Chesson one a year ago, he contributed to the local hospital and brought him a prosthetic leg. And the kids running and catching footballs. He's doing and sports. And to do that circle back. We see it from my seat, fifty thousand dollars to such and such local hospital, and then to give the full story as to how it made a difference to oh the my kid, gosh. his family. And we flew flew his mom and the and the kid to meet Chesson for the first time. Yeah. Last night. And that's what we were And so they were all together on stage at, at this event post uh, post the pro am. And they were even doing a victory dance. I mean, it was it was so cool and so moving. Uh, I remember coming back to the room and saying to Donna, my wife, I, I said, you know, we we all get the, the joy of working around golf. Obviously, it's 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 what we love. But when you see the way that this game actually touches and changes lives, is mind blowing. And you guys have been doing this for so many years. Yeah. And yesterday we had our charity putting contest, and uh, yeah, that only gets better, Matt. Thank you for your time and helping us uh, announce that it. It was but fun. Jay Monahan says he he stays and goes to this charity. Yeah, he drove home after it last yeah. night. And he says this is the best event that we do in any tournament. It's got and, the local boys and girls club, and it's also got the Special Olympic athletes, and they're paired up with the PGA Tour professional. And then the, the, you can see video from it from the from the charity putting challenge in nineteen. And then VIPs from RSM and obviously at large because Jay Monahan, the commissioner of the PJ Tour, is one of them. And so everybody's out there having this putting contest. And we went into a playoff yesterday, a four hole playoff before the William McGirt team ended up coming away with victory on what they call the Speedway uh, putting, which green, which is right here to our left from where we're sitting right now. And it just was amazing. And that was another event that through the sponsors, raised ten thousand dollars per hole for a total of one hundred and twenty thousand dollars raised for charity aside from everything else and i could tell you from my part my favorite part of the entire thing is when we introduce the kids yeah that's my favorite yeah. part it, it just you could see how excited they are and how it moves them and that that to me is just amazing so it's just one more thing it's just incredible great Not event great yeah thanks again for for Great to MC the event. Yeah, it was really fun. And, and the whole thing is, I mean, congratulations with everything that you do. Thank you. Friend. It's amazing. It's always a pleasure. Here, here's to another 15. Another 15. Well, I'm not sure I'm going to be here, but I'm sure I you think will. You, I think you will. So. Uh, we'll be here, too, when we come back, folks. Doug, right. thank you very thank much. You.